Hey guys, welcome back. So here we will start off by clicking on split layout. And what does split layout do? It simply splits your screen into two sides. You can swap sides if you want to using this button here. So here we have a side in which you can add only one photo and the other side you can choose to add a photo or text or button or a video. At any time you want to delete this layout, simply click near the split line here and you get the delete layout button. After clicking on it, you then confirm that you are sure you want to delete this section. Okay, now I'll get it back again. And here I'll start by adding an image on this side. So I'll click on add your image. Again, I'll get this add photos panel. I'll choose to upload a photo from my computer, where you are free to choose whatever you want. And as you can see here, it's being uploaded. Once uploaded, you can then click on it to get this pop-up menu where you can choose to replace the photo. When you click on replace photo, again you get the add photos panel. And also you can choose to adjust the focal point. And as we previously mentioned that the importance of the focal point is that it allows you to tell Adobe Spark what is the most important portion of the image so that when the page gets viewed on a vertical screen, like on a phone for instance, that portion of the image will be in the center. Okay, now on the right side here, I want to add a title, a subtitle, and an enroll button for this course. But you don't have to do exactly the same thing. You add the items accordingly to how you want to add your content on your web page based on your type of business. I'm just showing you an example of what you can do. So here I'm going to add and style the course title. So as you can see here, once you added a title, you get a plus icon above and below the added title. So here I'll click on the one below because I want to place the subtitle below the course title. I'll add the course subtitle and style it as well. Next I'll add a button below the course subtitle. So I will click on button and here I got this pop-up menu where I can type in the button text and the URL link that I want this button to be linked to and then I choose how I want to align it left, center or right and once I'm happy with everything I click save to reflect changes. Perfect! So let's scroll up and see what we have added so far. So we have our cover image with our web page title and subtitle. Then scroll down, we have the Our Courses section. We created a course item that consists of a course image, course title and subtitle, and a call to action, which is the Enroll button here. Whenever you want to edit or delete this button, you simply click on it and you will get this pop-up menu where you could choose to edit the button or delete it. So you see the process is going very smooth and quite easy. Now let's quickly wrap up what we have learned throughout this lecture. So in this lecture we have learned how adding split layout works in Adobe Spark web page. In the next lecture we are going to play around with another awesome content item which is photo grid. I hope you are enjoying so far, please if you do have any question or if anything that is unclear to you, let me know by posting your question on the discussion board and I'll reply as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and looking forward to seeing you next lecture.